What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Mike Dolce Show. Today, we have an awesome, quick episode. You need to hear about building muscle. Recently, Christian Thibodeau, a very renowned strength coach, reigning in Canada, working with international athletes, discussed on Fuad Abiyad's recent podcast the difference in volume training and intensity training for maximum muscle growth. Why is this important? Because recently, Dr. Mike Isratel from RP Strength had discussed the importance of high volume seeming to be most important, going as far as saying that six-time Mr. Olympia Dorian Yates would have had a better physique and a better career if he didn't train at that low set, high intensity approach that Yates had used and instead opted to perform more of a high volume, moderate intensity program. So for you at home right now, what does this mean? It means should you be doing more sets between eight and 12 repetitions at an RPE or of seven or eight or so, or should you be doing less total sets at a higher RPE of 10 plus even, but very limited sets. I'm going to play this video and maybe stop it once or twice to give a little bit of insight. It's very short. I think Coach Tib really explains this in a very easy to understand manner. Let's go. It's based on the theory of maximally effective reps. Okay, mm -hmm. a, a maximally effective rep is a repetition where you're recruiting all or as much fast switch fibers as you can and you are creating a stimulus on those fibers to reach a point where you are recruiting as much fibers as possible and putting tension on those fibers to make them grow because what makes a muscle grow is not the muscle damage it's putting mechanical tension on that fiber there are receptors on the surface of the muscle fiber and when you're contracting a muscle those receptors feel the tension the harder you contract the more tension you produce okay? okay so you need and the more tension is on each individual fiber the more that fiber will grow so that's the first condition the second condition is you need to recruit a lot of fibers especially the fast switch fibers because they are the only ones that actually can grow significantly Okay. The slow twitch fibers won't grow that much. For example, if I want a lot of tension, the speed of the repetition needs to be fairly slow. And I'm okay. not telling you to go slow on purpose mm -hmm. because going slow on purpose decreases the force you're producing. Sure. See what I mean? Yes. And if you reduce the force, you do not recruit the strong fibers so how do you walk that line because john used to say he liked the the concentric portion of the movement to be explosive you, you should always try to lift the concentric explosively okay or so at least how, fast so how do you walk that line yes. on what you're saying between being explosive but also being slow you need to reach a point and that's the point because if the the rep speed is fast okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which would be the case with the first few reps yes let's say you're doing 10 reps the first five will be fast because mm -hmm. there's no fatigue accumulation. But sure. what trying to go fast does is recruit those fast switch fibers. See what okay. I mean? Yes. If yes. I go slow on purpose, I'm not recruiting the fast switch fibers from the start. Okay? okay. However, in those first few sets, because I'm moving fast, the tension is low. So okay. these reps are not yet effective at building muscle. See what I mean? When I say you need to get, get slow is you need to reach a point in your set I where understand. even though you're trying to push as hard as possible, the speed slows down. Each rep, you, you lose you fatigue by around 3%, 3 to 4%. And that's where it gets underwhelming. If you want a set to be effective, you need to reach a point where even though you're trying to push as hard as you can, the speed slows down. And you know what I'm talking about? There will, yeah, be, yeah. A rep. There will be one rep in your set where you go, holy shit, that just got hard. Excellent. Great explanation. Thank you, Coach Tib, and thank you, Fuad, for allowing me to use this clip. I think it, it's great information. Everybody should follow Fuad's channel. He has great channels, great content, and I look forward to the upcoming full interview with Coach Tib. Now, briefly, let me give my own experience share on what Tib is saying here. He's saying you want to train with maximal weights 
at relatively higher repetitions to get into the hypertrophy range. Here he's speci speaking specifically about muscle building athletes, whatever that sport may be, athletes interested in building muscle tissue, and maybe not all athletes are. You have tennis athletes or soccer athletes that might, might not be so interested in adding 10, 20, or more pounds of lean, functional, contractile tissue. Coach Tib and Fuad are talking about more of a bodybuilding approach to building more muscle, but Tib works with athletes also, and he understands the athletic performance attributes necessary to be interwoven within training. So I, I say that not to speak for him, but to hopefully give a greater vantage point into his thinking and philosophy, which is accurate, I believe, and I agree with it. Now, a brief experience share is instead of training explosively for three to six repetitions, that works, that's effective. Tib is saying train explosively for eight to 12 or more repetitions. Do not train more just mechanical tension, slow, controlled, eccentrics, kind of a, a more exhaustive, concentric raising of the bar, but not that explosive compensatory acceleration a la Fred, Hat Fred Hatfield kind of style. Now, by doing that, Tib is saying accurately that explosive activity is recruiting more total muscle fibers, the neuromuscular connection between the brain through the nervous system to the actual muscles intended to contract. By exploding more, you are sending a stronger, greater signal that will recruit more total muscle fibers. Now, the more muscle fibers recruited, that weight on the bar will move faster and the mechanical tension on those muscles will be less. Then had you just moved slowly and kept good, solid control and tension all the way through. One philosophy of training. Tim is saying explode because those first few repetitions, let's say the first four repetitions or so, there will not be a ton of mechanical tension. There will not be a massive carryover to muscular hypertrophy, which is growth. But when you get to reps five through eight and then nine through 12, the level of mechanical tension starts to dramatically increase and it's increasing over a much wider inclusion of muscle fibers to a much deeper level because the force being produced is much more stimulatory through the nervous system than had it been that slower tension, which hurts. Rep one is really hard with this slow tension, but you have to use a fraction of, of the amount of weight, thereby in including a lower total muscle fiber recruitment. So that's just my brief summary. Now to that, how do you do that? Let's a quick takeaway. What I've been doing in my training, I'm a little older. I'm not trying to squat 600 plus pounds anymore, but I still want to make gains. I still want to add muscle. I still want to be athletic, right? That's the goal here. So I've taken my 12 rep sets and I keep pushing that number up to 16s. Then 20s, then 24s. I've been able to double my rep scheme, double the volume with the same basic compounds, the same basic weight, although I've, I've increased, of course, through bringing back down to new 12 as, as, as starting points, all through this type of explosive controlled training, keeping my reps and it sets in the, the 40 second or plus 40 to 60 seconds or so is kind of the average set length that I'm incorporating right now, having dramatic strength gains, dramatic muscle gains, but also dramatic health gains, much lower incidence of injuries, much greater feeling of well-being, much greater elasticity of the muscle through the entire range of motion, much better compl complementary association of antagonist muscle groups, supportive muscle groups. So I'm a little long-winded now. Let me cut that there. Great video. Click the link below. Watch it over on Fuad's channel and uh, check out Coach Tib. He's uh, Tib Arby, I believe, is his website. Definitely worth a read. Thank you guys for being here. Like, subscribe, leave any comments below, and thank you guys for being a part of the channel. We will be back soon. Bye.